In this video, we will go over how to set up your Dolphin system including base, starter, watches, and scoreboard. Let's get started! Connect the Dolphin base unit to a computer using the provided USB cable. Next, open the Dolphin software. Power up the scoreboard and take note of the channel the scoreboard is currently set to. The current channel the scoreboard is set to will display in the lane number column during boot up. Navigate to the settings tab in the Dolphin software. Click on channel to increment the channel. Set the Dolphin base to the same channel as the scoreboard channel and enable the scoreboard. With the two set to the same channel, you can now use the Dolphin software to change the channel of the scoreboard and base unit together. Later in this video, we will go over the remaining scoreboard settings. With the scoreboard and Dolphin base set to the same channel, it's time to set up the starter and watches. Power on the Dolphin starter by pressing and holding the reset button. Once it is powered on, hold both the reset and start stop button to access the settings menu. In the menu, press start stop to cycle through options and press reset to move through the menu. If using a Colorado Time System start system, such as Champ or Infinity, set Trig to CTS. Set the channel on the starter to the same channel as the Dolphin base unit. Power on the Dolphin watches by pressing and holding the reset button. Press and hold both the reset button and one of the side buttons to access the settings menu. Press either side button to cycle through the options and press reset to move through the menu. Set each watch that you will be using to a corresponding lane. If using more than one watch per lane, select the watch to be timer A, B, or C for that lane. If you are not using a Dolphin starter, you can set the watches to allow a manual start. With the manual start turned off, the watches will only start timing when the Dolphin starter is used to start a race. Set the watches to the same channel as the Dolphin base unit. After setting up the starter and watches, navigate to the signal screen in the Dolphin software to make sure all devices are set up properly and that they have adequate signal strength and battery life for the event. Wireless signal strength can vary based on interference from a variety of sources such as cell phones and Wi-Fi. Make sure that your Dolphin base unit is not obstructed by walls or other equipment and experiment with different channels to ensure the best possible signal strength. Navigate to the Settings tab in the Dolphin software. You can turn on Auto Print by clicking the checkbox. With Auto Print enabled, race results will automatically print at the end of each race. Select the file types you would like Dolphin to save. The file directory that the race results and settings will be saved in is shown here. You can change the file directory by clicking the Browse button. Consult with your Meet Management software user instruction for how to direct your Meet Management software to the correct log file directory. You can set how you would like the scoreboard to display race data. Lanes ordered by place or lane, the amount of time you want race results to scroll, the number of lanes for the event, and the number of lines on the scoreboard you wish to utilize. You can also adjust the scoreboard LED brightness and select to display the time of day. The general group of settings lets you specify whether to show the DQ or empty columns on the live screens. You can also specify if the pool lanes are numbered starting with zero or one. The Manually Increment Events checkbox allows you to disable automatic event incrementing after race results are saved. For more specific details about the Dolphin system, see the Dolphin Manual and other information on our website.